with you. God works wonders. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, there are many wonders in the world according to the human standards, human approaches, human attitudes, human values and principles. But for God, everything is a wondrous thing and a wonderful thing because God created us in his own image and created everything in the world out of his bounty and goodwill and found it very good. And that's what we hear at the time of creation in the book of Genesis. But nothing is more wonderful that we have received life itself as a gift because God has given us this wonderful gift of life to experience the wonders of God in our lives. Therefore, today's focus of the liturgy of the world is God works wonders. And how do we get that wondrous things from God? And how do we make the wonders of God in our lives is what the focal point of the readings. Therefore, today I would like to share with you three points of reflection. The first point of reflection, God never abandons us. My dear brothers and sisters, abandonment is a feeling of desolation and desperation. It is that time of abandonment we feel that someone is with us without leaving us alone, keeping us all in store of the worries and anxieties that we have. But God always assures of his presence. And that's what you would hear from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20. And very beautifully, as a parting gift, Jesus gives to us. Go, therefore, make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And teach them to obey all that I have taught you, and I am with you till the end of the ages. This is the parting gift that God gives to us to assure of us his presence. And that's what perhaps we hear it from the first reading from prophet Isaiah, wherein very beautifully he says, that you shall be called by a new name, Jerusalem. You shall be a crown of beauty, a royal diadem in the hand of the Lord. You shall never be termed forsaken, and you shall be called my delight. Yes, God assures the people of Jerusalem the future glory because God wants them to sustain the hope, the faith and the confidence in God. Today we may be in a different situation altogether but God assures of us his presence saying to us that I am with you till the end of the ages. What we need to do is to give the same assurance of presence to people in different walk of life, very especially people, those who are troubled, those who are depressed, and those who are anxious about various things. If we would tell them that I am with you, that I am there for you, that I will take care of you, that gives them lots of joy and happiness. Let's pray that God works wonders in and through this, His presence in our lives. The second point of reflection, God empowers everyone and everything. My dear brothers and sisters, the power of God is unimaginable. The power of God is the thing that we have in us to work for His glory, to work for His kingdom. The power of God in us creates newness of life. All that we have and all that we do is not our own, rather it's from God and by His power and goodness that we do it. And that's what we would hear from the second reading from St. Paul's letter to 2 Corinthians, wherein he says, We have different charisms and ministries, but the work is done by the same Lord, the same Spirit and the one God. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, it is God's power which will help us or enable us to create our work wonders in the world. God makes us or grants us this power in order to work wonders in the world. It is not that how much capacity that we have. It is not that how much resourceful we are. And it is not that how much talented we are. Rather, 
the wonders of God will take place in the world when we share this resourcefulness, these gifts, and these talents which we have received from God as a gift. Today, let's pray. In sharing of resources that we have, in sharing the talents that we have, in sharing the gifts that we have, we can empower ourselves or we can empower others to make wonders in life. For this grace, let us pray. The third point of reflection, discover Jesus to experience wonders. My dear brothers and sisters, scientific advancements have made lots of discoveries on earth. It has both positives and negatives. Science has led to the construction of great heights of life and at the same time it has brought also by its discovery a drastic destruction in human life. But never in the history, after experiencing Jesus, people have shared that they have ended up life in failure. Because Jesus gives us the fullness of life. And all those who experienced Jesus, or those who discovered Jesus, experienced wonders in life, and they have received the fullness of life with joy, happiness, peace, and prosperity. And that is the wonder work of God. That's what we see in the gospel reading of the day. We have the wedding at Cana, wherein Mother Mary, having known the fact that Jesus can work wonders, that if we discover Jesus, can also experience the same wonder. Therefore, she makes known to the people that Jesus is a wonder worker. And we know what happened. The disciples understood that Jesus can work wonders, and also the people at the wedding also realized that Jesus could impart this work of wonders in and through God's grace. A pathetic and pitiful situation of the wedding was turned into a pleasant situation. A shameful situation was turned to a successful celebration because of the discovery that they have made in Jesus. Today, you and I are called to do the same. If we want to experience wonders in life, discover Jesus and make others as well discover Jesus in life. That will bring about a life-changing experiences and that will give us a joyful experience and that will also make us be as children of God. My dear brothers and sisters, God has given us a wonderful gift of life. In what way can we give a wonderful gift to God is our faith and our faithfulness to the teachings, to the life that we are called to live as God expects. So let's pray and understand that God never abandons us. And this never abandoning experience of us in and through God makes us a wonderful gift. So let's pray that it is God who empowers us and the power of God is a wonder to all of us. Today let's pray that if we discover Jesus in our lives and make others as well discover Jesus in their life, we will be bringing about wondrous things on earth. Let me conclude this reflection with a verse from St. Paul's letter to Galatians, wherein he says, Galatians 2.20 it is not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Yes, it is not we who work. It is God who works. It is God who makes us proclaim the word, to spread his word, and to propagate his mission to the ends of the earth. Let's pray that we begin to work wonders by letting God into our lives and allowing God to work wonders through us others as well. For this grace, let us continue to seek the blessing of the Almighty God.